When I reviewed Cheeky Cheeky Boxy Racing last year, I concluded that it was a cute game that was a little too simplistic for its own good. Fast forward a year, and I'm about to make the exact same argument against developer Pocket's follow-up, Cheeky Cheeky Boxy Pro Wrestling. This is a colorful new beat-em-up that plays like a faster version of 8-bit games like Pro Wrestling on the Nintendo Entertainment System. It's a fun wave of nostalgia that is incredibly easy to get into. But much like last year's racing game, I'm not sure how much staying power this fighting game will actually have. Well, 2K Sports spends millions of dollars trying to make their games look as much like a WWE pay-per-view event as possible, Cheeky Cheeky Boxy Pro Wrestling has gone in the complete opposite direction. There are no storylines, no backstage drama, and no obnoxious intro songs. Because this is a no-frills battle where we mostly mash buttons and wait for the opponent to screw up. When I say there's no story, I mean it. But the closest thing we get to a narrative is a single-player campaign that sees you climbing the Grand Slam ranks in hopes of winning the title. This involves 28 events split across 7 tournaments, including one-on-one -on -one matches, tag team fights, and the always popular Battle Royale free-for-alls. What's fun is that these events are held in some of the world's most dangerous locations. When we're not stuck in some stuffy old stadium, our wrestlers are fighting it out next to an erupting volcano, on a freezing cold iceberg, and amongst the animals in the middle of the woods. These stages also deliver some unique obstacles, such as a tornado ripping through the ring, ice forming on the mat, and hot, hot lava slowly invading the playfield. Unfortunately, there are only a few of these levels, so you'll end up seeing the same few locations and obstacles over and over again. And when it comes down to it, that's far from the only problem with Cheeky Cheeky Boxy Pro Wrestling. This is a simple game that just about anybody can get into. That's good if all you're looking for is an accessible party game to play for a few minutes, but anybody looking for depth will be sorely disappointed. The various fighters don't have very many moves to the point where the two main attacks are both mapped to the same button. You can jump, grapple, and charge up for a special attack, but there's not a whole lot of technique here. And it doesn't help that the computer opponents are all playing on easy mode. No matter how difficult the tournament is supposed to be, you should be able to win each event on the first try. And not just win, but beat the opponents handily, usually in less than a minute. A lot of the computer opponents can be handled by just repeating the same charge attack. Which, let me tell you, is terrible practice for the much more competitive online multiplayer mode. This is definitely one of those games that's better when you're going up against other real, living, breathing human opponents. This is one of those cases where just adding a lot more of everything would have gone a long way. Cheeky Cheeky Boxy Pro Wrestling doesn't have enough locations to fight in, characters to play as, moves to master, or modes to take part in. Hell, even the character creator is a snooze. There's some silly masks and shirts and accessories you can put on, but it's a lot more limited than you would expect. And that's true of Cheeky Cheeky Boxy Pro Wrestling as a whole. This feels like a first draft of a game that could have been really cool. A proof of concept, if you will. They have a lot of the basics in place, but not much else. It's simple to a fault, and I can't imagine anybody being satisfied by the skimpy single-player experience. And while the multiplayer mode is certainly better, the shallow gameplay and repetitive stages won't hold your attention for long. Give it an hour and you'll want to tap out. Much like last year's racing game, Cheeky Cheeky Boxy Pro Wrestling is a mixed bag. I like how fast-paced and accessible the game can be, but found the brawler to be too simple and shallow to keep me engaged. With only 28 short events and no other modes, solo players will zip through this game in no time, and hardcore wrestling fans will want to opt for a deeper experience. I really want to like this Cheeky Cheeky series, but games like this are hard to recommend. Hey, thanks for watching our review. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. Now here's the question I have for you. What's your favorite wrestling game? 
I know there are a bunch of wrestling fans who watch my reviews, so I can't wait to see what you come up with. I think I'd probably go with that WWF arcade game by Midway. Oh, or maybe those Saturday Night Slam Masters games with Hagar. Anyway, we'll be back later today with a review of Furwind, followed by another episode where we compare Japanese and American box art. There's still a lot of week left, so I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.